There we go, guys. An easy 4-0 start in this challenge. So for any of you guys who don't really get that many wins in these challenges, definitely check out this Royal Hogs deck right here. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Mars back with another Clash Royale video. And guys, in this video, as you can see, we got the best new Royal Hogs deck for Clash Royale Season 16. It's got a lot of great fireball bait cards like the Barbarians, Bomb Tower, and Flying Machine. Sometimes they'll even fireball your princess, and then you know you can go in for Royal Hogs. But anyways, guys, let's take this Royal Hogs deck and hop into some games, see if we can get some wins. All right, guys, into the first game here against Leg he or Leg High or something like that. And we got Barbarians in our starting hand, so I'm going to be chilling. And this guy's actually going to go for Royal Hogs. Um, it would have been better if I had Bomb Tower in Cycle, but the Split Barbarians are still going to be able to take care of those Royal Hogs. And now let's actually go in for some Split Royal Hogs of my own. He's going to go in for Zappies, so I think I want to go in for a Flying Machine here. If the flying machine can snipe away these zappies, that's going to be great value for me because his royal ghost died too. And wow, he had to go in for a hunter too. So he had to spend so much elixir and check out the flying machine getting some great damage. I'm going to go in for the barb barrel here on the left to make sure that hunter gets no damage. And then we'll get two more hits from that barbarian on the left. So we've got both of his towers in the 1900s already and... Let's see, I'm gonna go Princess at the river. Hopefully he doesn't play anything, and yeah, nice. We get that Princess connection, and he is gonna have a Magic Archer, so I'll Fireball that away before it gets any more hits, and then we'll be ready with our Bomb Tower. He probably doesn't expect me to have a Bomb Tower at this point, but he's gonna go with Recruits, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, this guy's using Recruits, Hogs. That sounds like a, a kind of deck that I would like to use, but we're going to wait here. He just fireballed now, so we're going to go Flying Machine and then Bar Barrel and Heal Spirit to make sure that these recruits get no damage for him, and we still have our Flying Machine coming in. Um, with those Zappies, I'm going to go Princess to try to limit this recruit damage on the left, and then he goes in for a Hunter too, so wow, this guy has... This guy has a lot of four elixir cards in his deck. Um, I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to let that hunter get a hit. That is really unfortunate right there, but I think if we split some royal hogs in front of this princess, we're going to be able to get some good damage. And yeah, he doesn't seem to have a building in his deck, so that's pretty useful. Um, we can let the royal ghost get some damage here and go in for a flying machine, because then I think if we just split some barbarians and go in for a bomb tower... Uh, yeah, he could get really good fireball value here, but we'll see it's I think it's too late already for him to fireball actually So yeah, he's not gonna be able to break through here guys But this is a really even game take a look at all four of the towers just being so even and We just got to cycle here a little bit. He did just fireball though. So now we have kind of our open Rain to go in for royal hogs We're gonna do that right into the royal ghost because we'll get that heal and yeah, look at that right there guys He's getting some damage on the right though. So I'm a little bit worried about this we do take him down to seven or with the princess shot right there we take him down into the 600s and i'm gonna fireball away his magic archer right away and then he just fireballed so we have plenty of answers for um his royal hogs we have the barbarians and he doesn't have fireball anymore so he's not breaking through that he also did just use his fireball so let's go for hogs here with a heal spirit and with him only being at 496, we might be able to take the dub right here. The heal spirit jumps, and yeah, that's going to get us into fireball range right there. And ooh, I thought the flying machine even locked on his tower. That would have been GG, but we'll drop the fireball on his tower right there for win number one. Easy dub with this new Royal Hogs deck. All right, into our second game here against Alamo. And um, yeah, honestly, guys, this deck works kind of like a log bait deck too, because if they log anything in the deck like the princess then you can go in for royal hogs heal spirit and you know they won't have their spell to kill the uh heal spirit you have to be careful though if they do have log and arrows then you would have to watch out for that but that's pretty much the only scenario where that would be a problem he's gonna go in for a tesla i think i'm just gonna flying machine in the back because if he did nothing i think the flying machine would still shoot his tower I think it's out of range of the Tesla, and he's going to have Tesla Musketeer with Goblin Gang. So, yeah, and that's exactly why I went in for the Flying Machine in the back, guys, because check that out. We get three hits right there, and now he's going to go in for a, a Lumberjack and a Mini P.E.K.K.A. So I'm just actually going to Fireball here and hit the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Musketeer, 
And then, yeah, luckily, his Musketeer got two hits for him, but that still could have been way worse. We didn't really spend that much Elixir right there, and he still has to spend something for this. So he's going to go for his Tesla. That's going to be his main stopper for the Royal Hogs. So honestly, guys, I'm going to go for a Barb Barrel here right on top of the Tesla and just see if we can get some damage on that. And yeah, we are able to get it pretty low. So we're gonna go Flying Machine here, and then I think we're gonna go Royal Hogs in front of this. Tesla's gonna get a couple hits in right there, but now we have the Flying Machine taking out his Goblin Gang and the Royal Hogs getting some damage. Uh, he's gonna be down to 1754 right here. And then we'll go in for some Barbarians. Yeah, I wanted to use a Heal Spirit right there to make sure that Dark Prince didn't charge into the Barbarians, but that Dark Prince still kind of wreaked havoc against me right there. But yeah, let's see. Honestly, what does this guy even have, though, for his win condition? We'll go in for a Princess here at the river. Um, he's just gone in for, like, Lumberjack and Mini P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge, so, like, I don't really know what he's trying to do with that, but... Again, I think I just need to go in for the Barbarians here, unfortunately. We're going for a really valuable Barb Barrel, though, hitting the Dark Prince, killing the Musketeer, and the Goblin Gang. And honestly, guys, this guy just still doesn't seem to have a win condition. That Tesla is late, and the Flying Machine is going to get him all the way down to 766. Princess at the River taking him down to 486. And then I'll just go in for a Fireball on this Musketeer, too. We ended up pretty much just cycling him out. We got so much damage with the Flying Machine that this is going to be a pretty easy dub. Flying Machine, once again, is going to lock onto the tower, taking him down to 30 HP, guys. This just shows you, you got to learn how to defend the Flying Machine if you want to win games in Clash Royale. And honestly, you should also probably have a win condition in your deck, unlike this guy. Going Mini P.E.K.K.A., Dark Prince, Musketeer lumberjack at the bridge might work against some people but it's not working against me guys and that's an easy win right there all right into our third game here guys with this new royal hogs deck and we're gonna get the thumbs up here from this guy so we'll just laugh in his face because he's about to take a fat l and everybody knows it guys what is it with people just starting a game with goblin gang at the bridge i really don't get that um i'm just gonna wait here though okay i, I would i would have expected he was gonna have um log bait if he started with goblin gang at the bridge but he's gonna have a miner and he kind of missed his miner right there so he's gonna have to go in for arrows and we'll go in for a heal spirit here okay yeah i didn't exactly accomplish what i wanted to with that heal spirit but since he just arrowed and went with miner night witch we're gonna go royal hogs here in front of this flying machine and that's pretty unfortunate that he has a skeleton army but at least we can just bar barrel this and the mega minion should die and then if he doesn't do anything else, we'll get two hits from the Barbarian. And there we go. Some beautiful damage there down to 1921. And uh, I was going to go Princess at the River, but I didn't do it. And uh, wow, he actually goes in for a Golem. So guys, I'm calling it right here. This guy's going to have a clone. And mark my words, guys. This guy is going to have a clone. I know it already. He has Golem, Night Witch. He might even have a skeleton barrel too, so we gotta watch out for that, but he is gonna have to go in for arrows there again. And then we'll just go in for barbarians right on top of his golem, because we know he wants to go in for a big clone push, but the earlier we can... Okay, actually, with him having the miner, he might not have clone because of that, but I still honestly think he has clone. But honestly, with him going in for all of that stuff, including arrows, we're gonna go Royal Hogs Heal Spirit, and can the Heal Spirit please kill some of the skeleton army? There we go, guys. We get a little bit better damage this time. But, uh, yeah, Princess, you're going to get some great value right there. I might not have even needed that Barb Barrel. That might have been a little bit of a mistake. But let's see, guys. This is not going to be that easy of a matchup. Um, he's going to be able to go Golem probably in the back right here. So this is why I'm going Flying Machine at the bridge. Yeah, it seems like a bit of a weird play, but we do actually get him to play as Night Witch. And then he's going to have his Miner come down, and I want to go in for Barbarians to protect a little bit against that. Ooh, and then he goes in for a Witch in the back. Guys, this guy's deck is insane, but he's actually playing this kind of well. And I'm going to go for Royal Hog's Heal Spirit, though, on the right, because I feel like he wants to Golem. And wow, there's the Golem. We're going to go in for the Flying Machine, too, because if he Skarmies, then we're going to be able to kill that. And then let's try to pull this Golem over here with the Bomb Tower. And then we can go in for a Barb Barrel here to hopefully kill the Witch. The Mega Minion's going to die. 
Let's go in for Barbarians here in front of the tower just to protect against everything. And then we can Fireball on the Witch. And we do kill the Goblin Gang as well. But guys, we're down to 970 and we're going to be sitting at 724 here. But let's just go all in again pretty much on the right. He doesn't have Mega Minion in cycle yet. And okay, he does get back to it finally. But I think the Flying Machine is going to win out right there. And yeah, the flying machine then is going to get some good value for me, but I have to protect against this witch. And guys, I'm only at 500 now. He's got a miner on my tower. We have to barbarians if we want to save that. And then, oh, he just went in for his skeleton army though. Guys, we're at 232, but he just went for his skeleton army. And I think if we go Royal Hogs Heal Spirit with a pre-fireball, pre-fireball hits the goblin gang and royal hogs take it out we almost somehow lost that one but that's still a nice win all right guys we're hopping into game number four here live and we're three and oh to start this guy's gonna go for a bandit at the bridge so i don't know if he's like tilted or what but we do get that bandit out of here and then i'm gonna go princess at the bridge because wow he goes in for a royal ghost that's not a good play for him and then his magic archer is gonna get killed by the bomb tower right away and we have the um, Barbarian there. I actually, with this guy using uh, P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Bam, though, I'm actually going to go Royal Hogs Heal Spirit right here because, yeah, he's going to have to P.E.K.K.A. And I do not think he wanted to P.E.K.K.A. right there. His Yeah, he's very mad because we made him P.E.K.K.A. and we're getting so much damage down to 1160 right there. We also have plenty of defense here for this push that's going to come in from him. Let's go for our Flying Machine and then our Bomb Tower over here. Um, his bandit oh wow his bomb tower or his battle ram got pushed in and i need to go in for barbarians right now guys okay luckily we do prevent his pekka from getting there and keep our tower at 918 but that was a good push from him well played on his part um his e whiz though do i want to fireball that no i'm actually not going to fireball that because we can we can bar barrel here and take minimal damage yeah let's go in for the bar barrel the tower should be able to kill the E-Wiz first, and then it's going to kill the Royal Ghost. And then let's go for a Princess at the River. Um, if he bandits this, though, that could be a problem. Okay, he doesn't have Bandit and Cycle, so we're fine there. And then let's just go in for our Flying Machine. Yeah, the Flying Machine is going to be able to block that Magic Archer right there, and that's a big play for me because, wow, he's going to have to go in for a Battle Ram to soak the Flying Machine, and then we can easily stop that... Um, if we broil hogs, he would probably just P.E.K.K.A. But guys, we have him at 800. Let's go for royal hogs, actually, to block this bandit. And yeah, I think she's going to follow them that way. Then we can go in for some barbarians here on defense against the bandit and the P.E.K.K.A. And then as long as we get our um, bomb tower down, we should be fine. Yeah, we know he wants to poison, so we want to make sure we flying machine outside of the poison. And then we'll get a bomb tower down, too. And then I got to go in for a bar barrel to finish off that magic archer right away. And then let's see. Let's go in for barbarians here to stop this battle ram. Yeah, we barely stopped the battle ram there before it connected. That could have been really bad. Um, but he goes in for a bandit again. And we can go in for royal hogs to catch that. It's not really the best bit. Not really the best bandit counter. But we do end up taking his tower out actually. So that's perfect. And then let's go in for a bomb tower here. Uh, princess over here. We can get our, uh, let's go for Barbarians, guys, because I don't think his Battle Ram is going to take the right side. And yeah, wow, we played just enough defense there to take a nice win, and that was four wins in a row. There we go, guys, an easy 4-0 start in this challenge. So for any of you guys who don't really get that many wins in these challenges, definitely check out this Royal Hogs deck right here. This Royal Hogs deck was so much fun to play, and the Fireball slash Poison Bait just works so well because you have the Princess, Flying Machine, and Barbarians that they're going to want to use their spells on. But then if they do that, you can defend easily with the Bomb Tower or go in for Royal Hogs on offense when they don't have their Fireball. This new Royal Hogs deck works so well and it was a lot of fun to play. I definitely recommend you guys try it out. But anyways, guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button and click the subscribe button right now if you haven't already. Doing those little things takes like one or two seconds, but it benefits the channel tremendously, and I really appreciate it. Also, if you do want to show extra support for the channel, head over to patreon.com slash marsultimategaming. That'll be linked in the description. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's Royal Hogs video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in a couple days with another Clash Royale video.